We're on ArcLinuxD.com and the videos we're going to make are based on the ArcLinuxD ISO. Now the D also stands for desktops, right? So all the information about desktops is here, 33 desktops, one, two, so I mean I'm counting the phases, ArcLinux University, have a look, and I've switched here I've made the, the, the drop down here a little bit smaller in the sense that these are all the tiling window managers and these are all the desktops. So anything you need to know and learn is going to be in here. And the first one we're going to build is this guy, CHADWM, well not built but installed with the Arcmix D. Now I can't stress enough that it's not easy, all right, you need to stay months maybe years on Arch Linux or Arch Linux before you get to grips about all these systems CTL and packages and all that. So it's not, not a good idea to start from Windows straight on, on Arch Linux D or straight on Arch or Gen 2 or anything like that, right? It's just too soon yet. What we see here is a list, right? In this case we have six videos about this one and it will grow longer and longer as the more videos I make about it it just goes long on and on and on the list right you choose but installation of learning how to install and what to do with your installation is all explained here technically but if you want to see all the installation videos this is the one we're making this article here installation of Arclix D but it could have been easily a B but that's documented here right Arclix B right mouse click open loop tab here we tell you how to build it but in the same time we also tell you how to install it so the first video is how to build it and the next one is how to install it so this one is focusing on the Arclix D ISO and that's a difficult one and yes, it will not be like the B. The B is meant to be perfect out of the box, beautiful out of the box. The D, you bring your brains and you think, how should I do things? By the by, this is CHADW, right? So Super F7, in a week or two, you'll have the new D version. We have it, of course, already ready. We're going to test it. And these videos help me test it as well. So our beta testers have the D version of December. So we're going to use this one all the time to make videos for Berry, Worm, um, Hyper, Berry, Worm, Hyper. We have five more desktops, right? <laughs> So this is going to be CHATW. Start. Have to tell the system, go and boot from the ISO. This is for the virtual machine guys. Do you have a new NVIDIA card? Use this. If it doesn't like Nouveau, then you use that one. AMD Intel is this two first lines. And if everything fails, save graphics. In short. Article XD has been created because you wanted the bare installation. If you watched some of the how to install Arch Linux ISOs or videos, I mean, then you see it's a lot of technical stuff. You skip the technical stuff with Calamaris. So the base installation is the one that's fun. Sherlock Holmes requires knowledge it's not going to be nice out of the box it's not meant to be nice out of the box it's you your brain it's a bare system a base installation later on we learn more about calamaris and we discovered for example the net modules and i'll show it in the video but we'll not do it right because this is basically click <laughs> of 
Of course, you need to know what to click, but that's another thing, right? So this does not have a desktop. Yes, it's XFC behind here, but basically it's not. You need to decide everything yet. yet. The kernel is there. That's something you don't need to, to install. Install by default, right? Otherwise we can't boot, simple as that. If you want another kernel, that's another matter. Yes, yeah, so you click, right? But let's keep things simple. What I would do if you want to, to have the simplest installation, next, next. Maybe decide about Bluetooth, but mind you, choose the application then, either this one or that one, right? Blueberry is the default that we have, but Blueman is possible as well. I'm not on laptop, don't need to print, don't want to share stuff. So Arch, Wiki, Samba, what is that? Sound by Pulse Audio or by the other one, Pipewire. You decide. Okay, now this is a virtual machine, so no need for Bluetooth, but this would be my choice on Real Metal. Next. I need a login manager and I like to be greeted, but maybe you don't need all these themes. Maybe you take the default simplicity, which otherwise won't look nice. If you don't install that one, you get the default SDM, which is this blue thing, right? That's not nice. Not okay. We use this next and then 33 choices. We are here for one thing, this guy, but even then you can still decide what not to select. But I suggest you just take first what we suggest and then later on decide. I never use the menu or I don't want the row fee, etc. etc. Decide what not to install. And then next, and all the rest I'll keep off. Just applications, you know what applications are, the ones you like, applications, um, games I mean, there were games there, file manager, or whatever. You select things you like. This is something I personally would choose. I have the custom actions from XFCE, so right mouse click and all these things. Discord, Firefox, Flameshot stuff. This is stuff, stuff I can't live without. Simple as that. This is what I would select. Now to make time a little bit uh, faster, I'll not install them. It's at the night. Do like to sit for the telly later. Voila. That's it. Next. Install. Do you think you've got everything? Back, 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 back. Not sure. Next. No kernel. No drivers. The drivers already all are all already on your machine. If this is an ISO of one year old, one year ago, then yeah, maybe I would select it because, hey, then we get the latest drivers in. But this point in time, the ISO was built a week ago. I mean, the drivers will be okay on the ISO, right? What you see is what you get and the drivers are part of it. You don't see them, but yeah, they're on the ISO. So we greet it. We tell him to install all these packages. I say next and here we just skipped everything. So go check if you're in doubt. That's what we need. So you can go back. Install now. And then we wait. I'm going to pause the recording here. And then it's time to restart. Then the fun starts, right? If you're not a Sherlock Holmes guy and not patient, then this is not for you. Simple as that. You will encounter lots of things and you say why, how, and so on. So this is SDM, simplicity, enter. And this is what we get. Now, actually, this looks quite good, right? Design wise, is okay. Super T. It's not working. Control Alt Enter. It's not working. Super Shift D is not. Uh, it's working. <laughs> so I have something. Okay. What do I have? A menu. Do I have Alacrity? Yes. Alacrity is there. Pycom is there as well. I can go to somewhere else. Super. And then Control Alt 
Okay, so the control uh, super shift enter is working. Okay, super shift enter is working. What's not working is a control alt enter, which should be launching our uh, terminal. Now, control shift escape is working. Okay, SXHQD. The sexy hotkey demon is just not there. Okay, so pseudo pacman minus s sexy hotkey demon. It is there, but it's not launched. It's not started then. I didn't see it. Although, so we need to figure out things always. That is working. So what I'm press is pressing is Control T, working fine. Super Q Q Q Q, Super Shift Enter, Sup Control Alt Enter. I think this should do something, right? Control Enter. Oh, just no. Control Enter is never programmed. Okay. Now well, we could add it to the to the packages. So Control Alt Enter doesn't seem to be actually in there yet so key bindings right key bindings and yeah this is a lovely application vi but in here somewhere is gonna be pseudo pacman minus s sublime text and then we open it again Control find a lot gritty should be starting and it is starting with super return super return sorry super return check alacrity next one find yeah without enter find just the one of oh, noble uh, okay typo get it and then super enter is this one so kp means the how do you say that the separate numeric path that you have with the numlock and uh, all the numbers and all that the separate one that works as well control t check so i'm actually telling you guys that control enter is not in there but i do believe we have it in other uh, tally window managers if i'm not mistaken if it is i'll add it and otherwise i'll just have to remember right super enter all right everything is working fine sound i don't know Control alt yeah, everything doesn't doesn't work, right? It, it really is Sherlock Holmes. Control Alt F. Uh, nothing happens. Did you install it? No, I did not. It's a bare system. Okay, there we go. Control Alt F. Music. Sound control alt uh, U and here's your audio stream. And if output devices and all that are recognized, it's not a dummy output, you'll get uh, music. Interesting because I forgot it the other day audio little alias, and then you know I'm on Pulse Audio or on Pipewire. If you're on Pulse Audio, it doesn't say on Pipewire afterwards it just uh, stops there pulls out you so yeah that will work and for the rest guys it's watching videos right what is this Arco Linux CHDWM what is this thing there are videos already and you go and watch them on arcolinuxd.com you'll find a nice page saying that CHDWM 
and here you have the list easy to find okay those are the articles already online about chaddw a fork of chaddl <laughs> oh boy uh, oh yeah maybe i'll put the link here so that's easy for everyone github chddlm and put a link up there to the source right i did not build this we have to thank Siddiq or Sidhant Aratov. All right. So enjoy your Arclinks D, enjoy the learning. Um, all the information is online. There are so many websites, so many articles. Go and have a look and listen. Cheers.